Hey, in this vlog, you can watch me unbox and set up our Christmas tree, place some decor pieces around it, make a quick run to the grocery store to purchase a gingerbread house, and more. Stay tuned to see how my daughter and I got into the holiday spirit this past Thanksgiving weekend. I ordered this seven and a half foot Christmas tree two Black Fridays ago, and we used it for the first time last year. Before I bring anything like this into my home, I have to give it a good big old shaking outside to make sure there's no spiders, bugs, or extra dust, or debris. Mm -mm. I cleared a space in the corner of our living room. I'm using my robo back to vacuum the floor before I set up the Christmas tree area. This robo back is a lifesaver. I also purchased this on Black Friday two years ago and I've been enjoying it ever since. I used to run it several times a day when we lived in our little adorable apartment prior to moving into this house. It keeps the floor free from crumbs and dirt when you have little ones who constantly create crumbs and dirt. I figured this white rug would be great to put under the Christmas tree to help brighten up the area. I love bright and airy living spaces. This is such a good tree. There are three separate pieces, so it's super simple to put together. It's pre-lit and has eight color changing LED effects. And my daughter just loves the multicolor blinking effect while I like the clear lights. After the three tree pieces are put together, you have to connect the pre-lit tree light cords to each other and that's that. I ordered this white ladder from Amazon to use in my photography mini session setups. I thought it would be a great addition to this Christmas tree area for now. Christmas tree. I haven't fluffed it out yet because I want to wait for my mom and my daughter to help me decorate the tree and then we're going to do gingerbread houses. So I'm going to run and go by the gingerbread house and then we're going to come back, fluff out the tree. Maybe I'll finish putting this thing together. Maybe not. <laughs> Lord, they got them on sale for $10. I wonder if I should get more than one. And, uh, got all the sparkles, cookie cutters, everything you need. Dang, they're out of the Almond Breeze Classic Nog, man. And I can't do no real eggnog. My stomach gonna be toe up. Ugh. Pickens a slim. I see this one, but I don't know what that tastes like. I don't know. Never take the first one. We want to take the second one. Oh my goodness, this stuff is so cute. The next day, I put on a Christmas movie. Tim Allen is always playing somebody Santa Claus. My mom purchased all these beautiful smelling holiday candles at Michael's. I think she got them for like four, for ten, or fifteen dollars. You gotta try and step on mommy's shadow, on my head. Okay, let's go. 
took my daughter outside for a bit to get some fresh air and burn some of that energy because she has way too much. <laughs> then I mustered up the energy to complete building the ladder. It was actually very simple to put together. I used my mini drill to screw the pieces all together and it turned out super cute. This thing is surprisingly more sturdy than I would have assumed. I caught my daughter climbing on it later that day and it didn't break. We will decorate and fluff out the tree branches later because mama was tired. We simultaneously built our first gingerbread house during all of this and it was so labor intensive. I had to do a gingerbread house craft with my daughter during the time we waited for the base in the house to dry to occupy her because she was like, come on, let's build it, let's build it. But the instructor said it had to dry for like three to four hours. It was crazy, but it turned out cute. I will post the video of us building the gingerbread house soon, so be on the lookout for that. I love her so much. Oh my gosh, this thing is so much harder than I anticipated. Now we just have it sitting here, molded, and waiting for it to dry. Instructions say to allow the base to dry for about an hour before you put the hood on. So we'll put the roof on in a second. Oh, baby, it's so pretty. Ooh, baby. <gasps> Look at all those candy canes. I like how you switched it up. No. Yeah, you know? Get it, girl. Go, Bea. Go, Bea. Oh. <laughs>